Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the another most important theoretical scenario based Power BI interview questions that might be the interviewer asked during the interview process of Power BI developer job role. Okay, so the question is suppose you have a data set with multiple tables and you need to establish the relationship between them. Okay, so how would you determine the appropriate relationship type that is one to one, one to many and many to many in Power BI? during creating of the data modeling all right so this is the question so if you want to give the exact answer then you can say in power bi you can determine the appropriate relationship between the tables by analyzing the data and understanding the cardinality of the relationships and here is how you can establish the relationship and determine their types okay so first point is you have to understand your data it means before creating the relationship, understand the structure and the content of your data set first and identify the primary key and the foreign key in each table. Okay, because primary key uniquely identify records in a table while foreign key is established relationship with the primary key in other tables. Correct. That's why first of all, you have to understand your data better. Got it. Then the second point is visualize the data model. It means use the Power BI data model view to visualize the tables and their relationship. It means you can access the data model view by clicking on the model icon in the ribbon of the Power BI desktop. Got it? Then moving into the third point, just create the relationship. It means based on your understanding of the data, create the relationship between tables by dragging the primary key from one table to the corresponding foreign key in the another table. Okay? and try to create the relationship. Then go to the model view and drag the field from one table to another table. And at, and in this way, first of all, you have to create the relationship between the tables. All right. Then next is you have to analyze the cardinality. It means once the relationship are established, analyze the cardinality of each relationship and determine whether the relationship is one to one or one to many or many to many okay so first one is one to one relationship right so one to one relationship exists when each record in the primary key table corresponds to the exactly one record in the related table and vice versa and remember this type of relationship is less common but may occur in the scenario when there's a strict one to one corresponding between the entities then the next is one to many relationship. It means a one to many relationship exists when each record in the primary key table can have multiple matching records in the related table. But each record in the related table corresponds to only one record in the primary key table. Okay. And this is the most commonly typed relationship we can see during data modeling in Power BI. All right. The next is many to many relationship. A many-to-many -many relationship exists when each record in both tables can relate to the multiple record in another table. It means to represent many-to-many -many relationship in Power BI, you typically need to create a bridge table in between that. Okay, and then you can resolve the issue that is occurred during creating many-to-many -many relationship into one-to-many relationship. All right, and then the second last point is you have to verify and adjust. It means after determining the relationship, just verify that they are accurately representing the data. Okay. And you may need to adjust the relationship based on your analysis and requirements if it's needed. Got it. Then the last point is testing. It means test your relationship by creating the visualizations and report to ensure that they are behave exactly. All right. So by following this step and understanding the nature of your data, you can efficiently or effectively determine the appropriate relationship type in Power BI. All right. And if you want to create the note for this particular question, then go to the description section of this video over there. I have described everything. Just copy that and understand each step properly and then go to the interview. All right. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.